on discriminants okay mm. so for the following we need to find the range of values of k for which x square plus k minus 4x minus k minus 7 is more than 0 for all real values of x now the fact that they have put uh, more than 0 right it does not refer to the discriminant being more than 0 now what it does is it refers to basically the value of this function here to be positive now if you were to imagine this on the graph right where you were to have y equals to x square plus k minus 4 x minus k minus 7 it really means that your graph here is entirely above the x-axis because here being more than zero now it really means that you're talking about y to be more than zero okay y to be more than zero so what does it mean by y more than zero now if you compare the whole function itself like this is your graph your graph is more than zero then this is the portion of the graph where your y is entirely positive okay so it means that your graph here is not cutting the x-axis is above the x-axis in order for your y to be positive okay so what does it mean uh, so if you look at this you will know that for it to be entirely positive it will mean that first of all okay the coefficient of x square has also to be positive in order for you to have a happy face all right the happy face here and second is that the discriminant right will have to be negative all right so the common mistake is that a lot of students will assume that positive it also means that the graph is also uh, the discriminant is also positive now this is not true uh, do take note that uh, when the graph your expression is more than zero it means that your discriminant is negative and the coefficient of x square will also be positive uh, as stated here okay so for that let's look at the discriminant now if you look at the discriminant here now remember when we look at discriminant we are talking about the expression b square minus 4ac and b square minus 4ac refers to the coefficient a x square plus bx plus c equals to zero and a will refer to the coefficient of x square b referring to the coefficient of x and c referring to the constant coefficient okay now let us write down the discriminant all right b square this is my b which is k minus 4 minus 4 a c so this is my a my a here will actually be 1 since the coefficient of x square is 1 now c just take note that c will include this entire term here right since we are talking about plus c right so this is as though we are writing down plus uh, 7 minus k okay so c here will refer to 7 minus k and we want this to be negative okay now simplifying this using uh, a minus b bracket square algebraic identity this will give us a square minus 2ab plus b square minus 4 times 1 times 7 that gives us 28 negative 4 negative k that will give us 4k to be less than 0 okay now next we simplify all the terms that we group our k square together we group our k terms we group our constant this will eventually simplify to give you k square minus 4k minus 12 to be less than zero okay now from here remember that we are talking about the graph for the discriminant uh, not the graph for the expression itself right the expression has its own graph for the discriminant you are basically solving a quadratic inequality and remember that when we solve a quadratic inequality it is best that we draw a graph for a discriminant okay so this is the graph of uh, i mean y equals to k square minus 4k minus 12 okay factorizing this you will have k minus 6 
k plus 2 to be less than 0 which means that your intercepts here are negative 2 and 6 now since we are looking for the section where your function here is less than 0 because if you imagine this as y right you are looking at the sections where y is less than 0 which will refer to the part underneath the x-axis okay so the answer here will mean that we want k to be between negative 2 and 6 okay and that is our answer now next let's look at part 2 to comment on the number of intersection between the curve x squared minus 4x plus 7 and y equals to k bracket 1 minus x so for this right if you notice they use the word hence okay it means that there is a relation with part one there is a relation with part one which we are to be able to draw the connection so when we are solving for points of intersection naturally what we will do is we will equate the first and second uh, uh, equations together and we try to solve for a uh, point of intersection so you will find yourself in this position where whenever you are solving for a point of intersection right you will write out an equation one and an equation two okay and you will definitely be solving simultaneously this is how you'll be looking at the point of intersection here okay now tidying this up further this will give you x square minus 4x plus k equals to k minus kx okay now what i want to do is you want to you know as per what we always do for all equations to make one side zero so i'm going to subtract k and add kx on both sides okay i'm going to subtract k i'm going to add kx on both sides okay subtract k and add kx on both sides and my right side would be zero okay now next part i will merge the coefficients together for x as well as to merge the coefficients for the constant this will enable me to have x square now merging or uh, combining the coefficients for x i'll have a k minus 4 merging the constant coefficients i'll have 7 minus k okay and what do you notice is this now after you have simplified part 2 you will find that the equation in part 2 is exactly like the one that you see in part 1 which is why this is the section here where you will realize that the hence is very useful okay so from part 1 from part 1 it will tell you that from part 1 it will tell you that if k is between minus 2 negative 2 to 6 what you will have is basically okay no intersection this is where the discriminant is less than 0 now since we have already solved for the discriminant in part 1 and there are no real roots okay there's basically no intersection between the line and the curve okay now of course if we take the complement of part 1 basically it will be k uh, more than 6 or k less than negative 2 this is the complement of the set that you see earlier definitely the discriminant will be on the flip side as well and this will mean that you have two points of intersection okay so what about the last two points where if k will be equals to negative 2 or 6 okay so remember this was the curve that we saw earlier right if k is equals to negative 2 or 6 your discriminant basically will be equals to 0 okay it means that you have two equal roots or you can also say that there is one point of intersection or you can say that the line will intersect the curve once okay thank you